All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this haul video of my book collection. Now, I want to preference this. This and those books right here are the books that I have in the apartment. I have about 200 trades plus down in storage. So this is what I have in the apartment. And I'm not going to be able to show you all the other 200 trades, but I'm going to show you what I have in the apartment at least. So kind of let's kick it off, but let's start with some figures. There's, uh, I, I forgot myself, Assassin's Creed, <laughs> Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed, Batman and Joker. Oh, here's Heisenfeld, Rick, and the Punisher. That Batman, that Batman one, I really like. It came with one of the games. It's a really pretty one, actually. Really kind of cool. I really like it. Uh, then we got... This is uh, Max Payne. Gee, man, horrible name. Dishonored 2 and another Batman from the first Batman game. Now, let's get into the books and let's start with the biggest one, which is this one, this is the, uh, the uh, Wolverine Animantium Collection. I think a lot of people you have, some of you people have this kind of book. It's really cool. So let's go into the books themselves. Start with Absolute Batman, The Long Halloween. One of my all-time favorite books and one of the books that I have in, in multiple different uh, formats. Absolute uh, All-Star Batman Robin. Love this book as well. And this is Absolute World's Greatest Superheroes. This is basically the Alex Ross collection. A tremendous, tremendous book. It's Alex Ross artwork in an absolute format. You can't get better than that. Then we move on to The Goon, volumes 1, 2, and 3. I need to correct and get volumes 4 and 5 to complete the run of these books. Which is These are really cool books. Another Dark Horse book. This is Freaks. Of the Heartland by Steve Niles and Greg Ruth. Beautiful hardcover. Beautiful artwork. Uh, let's see if I can show you some of the artwork as well in this beautiful, beautiful book here. Greg Ruth's artwork here is spectacular. Let's look at this. It's... I actually read this book in one sitting. It's a, it's a beautiful book. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud to have it, I have to say. The Stan Sakai Project, which is an art book about Yusagi Yimbo. Uh, I got this on a sale, actually, at Instock Trades, in like December or something. So different artists do their interpretations of Yusagi Yimbo. It's an art book. Uh, got it on sale. It usually costs, let's see if I can see this. Oh, it says it costs, what, 30 bucks? I got it for three. I didn't stop trading. <laughs> I had a sale, so you, you can't bet that. Pass that up. Another long, uh, long Halloween. I was about to say long Halloween. This is a noir black and white edition. Then we move to my. Marvel Omnibus line, which I don't have a lot, but I have a lot I do enjoy. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu volumes. Jesus, my, I'm sorry for my camera here. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously doing it with my uh, phone, so hopefully it turns out decent. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu volumes one and two, completing that. Those are obviously subsidiary to Shang-Chi Master of Kung Fu volumes one, two, three, and four, complete run of Master of Kung Fu. I love the old, all the different artworks they have on the covers. Little Hands 1 and 2. Shang-Chi, I just went mostly for the regular ones. I'm not much into like the... Uh, uh, what you call these? Covers. The dust jackets, I don't care too much for those. The only one I went was... That one was the, like, the old school one. And this one was really cool as well. So, so That's Cheng Shi. Then we have Captain America and Captain America Lives. The Brubaker and Steve Epting run. I have the other ones in 
trade and in hardcover. So I have the complete run, but these are the only two ones that I have in heart in omnibus form. Now I have the death of Captain America, but I have the trades, the three volumes. And funny story is those were the first trades that I ever bought, along with a a hardcover we're getting to uh, later in this collection. I bought those were geez, I got I was I was out of comics for. You know, early 93, 92 and 93 when I stopped reading comics because kind of life got in the way, job and, and kids and all that stuff. And got back into comics around 2005, 2006. And this is the run, the Brubaker acting run on Pap Captain America that brought me back to comic books. So I had the, uh, the it was the first books that I picked up. Unfortunately, those three trades are down in storage. But, so anyway, let's move on. So that's Captain America. This is Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, Omnibus Volumes 1 and 2. Kind of like the covers of those. 80s and 90s. There should be a Volume 3 of this completing the run of this series. Then we got the uh, Doctor Strange, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko Omnibus side. Got this at a good price. We got one of the bigger omnibuses I have, which is the Werewolf by Night Complete Run. <clears throat> Jesus, it's a huge book. Huge, absolutely enormous book. One of the, I don't know page count, but just looking at the size of it is really one of the bigger ones I have. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the others, obviously, later on. Punisher, this is the Garth Ennis. Uh, Punisher, Mac, no, Punisher Run, Marvel Knights. Big whale for me for a long, long, long time until they finally uh, resolicited this and last year. Came out with this one, Punisher. Back to the war. Went with that direct market cover. Then we got, I have the entire Punisher Max run. I don't have the the omnibuses that are currently being released. I have the all, I have the entire run of Punisher Max in trade and this one hardcover. We got Avengers Disassembled. We got X-Force. We got Marvel Zombies. We got Thor and Loki Blood Brothers, which is a... Uh, books are too tight here. I can't show you. Jesus, that's a bit sad, but that's how it is. It's a beautiful book. Astonishing Thor. The Marvels Project by Epting and Brubaker, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, let's move down here so you can see. I'm sorry for the poor camera work. Carnage USA, Daredevil, End of Days, The Bendis. Uh, awesome book. It's Amazing Spider-Man, Family Business by Wade Robinson and Delato. We get Avengers Endless Wartime by um, Warren Ellis. Five Ronin, which is a very cool book. I don't know how many of you know, know about this book. It's kind of a lesser known. That's like Hulk, Punisher, Wolverine, Deadpool, and Psylocke. Yeah, Psylocke. Really cool book. Moving back. Criminal, Volume 1. Need to get Volume 2. Spawn Origin, Volume 1 hardcover. I have like four more volumes in trade. This is the only one I have in hardcover. And it takes me back because I kind of unfortunately quit when Spawn was coming out, but I read like the first 10 issues of Spawn or something like that, original when it came out. The Fade Out, one of my all time favorite run series. I have the hardcover, I have the trades, and I have another special edition that I'm getting to a little, little bit later. Nailbiter, the Murder Edition, volume one. Need to grip and get volume two. Divinity. This is seriously one of the most beautiful books I have. The City on the Edge of Forever. Star Trek, Harlan Ellison's The City on the Edge of Forever, original screen teleplay. This is by artwork by J.K. Woodward. And seriously, <laughs> let's do that again. Uh, 
This is such an amazingly beautiful book. I mean, come on. The artwork here is... You can't... I mean... Absolutely beautiful. One of the most famous uh, episodes of Star Trek is this one. An amazing book. Then we got G.I. Joe, the IDW Collection Volume 1. A uh, 2000 AD book called The Dark Judges, The Fall of Dead World. <clears throat> I'm just going to move that. Fall of Dead World, book 1. Tremendous artwork in this. Very <laughs> dark judges, so it's a very dark book, but the artwork is very, very cool. Look at that. Tremendous artwork. Okay, moving on. Black Sod and Books. Black Sod and Books of Magic. Moving down one shelf, here we go. This is Batman, Brave and the Bold, Bronze Age Omnibus Volume 1. Volume 2 just came out, I need to pick that one up. House of Secrets Bronze Age Omnibus and Swamp Thing Bronze Age Omnibus. Love all these books. These are almost, they are about as thick as Werewolf by Night Omnibus, but I think Werewolf by Night is still thicker. Orion by Walter Simonson Omnibus, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Batman Unwrapped Court of Owls, Batman Unwrapped Hush, Superman Unchained, uh, Batman The Dark Knight, Call the Dawn, Batman Death and the Maidens. <laughs> Sneaks another book in between, this is the, the Aquaman Atlantis Chronicles, which is a beautiful, beautiful book. Oh, absolutely awesome book. The Gus Snyder, uh, Run on Swamp Thing. Batman, uh, wow, what's it called? Dark Prince Charming, Volume 1. Batman Noel, The Killing Joke, two versions of that. We got Batman Noir, Edward Risso, the Deluxe Edition. Uh oh, cat interference. Fortunately, she's climbing at a place she should not be. Trinity, Volume 1. Joker, this is the hardcover I talked about, the, one, the first hardcover I ever got. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, it's so stupid there. I've got the New 52 run, volumes 1 through 10. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to do this. Volumes 1 through 10, Detective Comics, volumes 1 through 9. And two of the tie-ins to Night of Owls and Death of the Family. Then we got The Dark Knight. <coughs> I'm sorry. Night Force by Wolfman and Colin, an awesome book. Awesome, awesome book. Being that I'm a huge fan of uh, their run on Tomb of Dracula, which is one of the all-time great books. Of all, you know, my absolute favorite all-time book. This is, how good is this? And there's the cat. She's part of the statues now, I guess. Moving on. Batman the Black Mirror. Dark Knight, a true Batman... Well, whatever's... Yeah, a true Batman story. Uh, Gotham Central. I got one hardcover and then I got trades. This is Streets of Gotham. The two hardcovers. Wonder Woman, the true Amazon. Then we get the Earth One books. Superman... Three volumes, Batman 2, Wonder Woman, and the Two Titans. I haven't gotten the uh, uh, Green Lantern one yet. Injustice, volume 1, 1 and 2, volume 2, number 1. Okay, let's move on. And we got the Jason Aaron run on Thor, God of Thunder. Only 1 through 4, the hardcover, Doctor Strange by, by, by um, Jason Aaron. And we got Doctor Strange Season 1, Fear Itself Spider-Man, which IGN at the time voted best miniseries for that year. Uh, and it's an amazing miniseries with amazing artwork as well. 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do interference because the cat is very, very annoying. Now, there we go. Little Elsa runs interference in this video. Now we got on track, off track with this one. Punisher Max, this is a Jason Aaron run. I have it mixed, trade, and hardcover. I know, I'm, I'm not. Wolverine and the X-Men, this is also Jason Aaron. Then we got a Thunderbolts book. We got Daredevil Noir. We got Moon Knight. We got, from the Brubaker Captain America run, Stephen King's The Dark Tower. This is The Gunslinger. I have the Omnibus. Unfortunately, one of my kids is reading it right now, so I don't can't show it to you. And my cat is making it fair again. I'm sorry. Doctor Strange, Into the Dark Dimension, Cloak and Dagger. We got Nemesis. Uh, let's see, where am I? Batman. Oh, it's not a Batman book. I just read Emily Out of Place. Batman Europa. The Valiant Classics for Ninjak and Bloodshot. The Other Side. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yusagi Yimbo. They're coming out. They have an expanded edition, and they're coming out with a complete edition of that. G.I. Joe, the, the silent interlude 30th anniversary, and Lantern City Volume 1, High Crimes, which is a very cool book, very beautiful book. Let's move down here to Joe Golem, Occult Detective, and Rashomon, Samurai Detective, also Black Beetle, and then we go into my Conan run. This is the ongoing Dark Horse run on Conan. Volumes zero. There we got 13, 14 through 20. So 21 volumes. The first 13 in trade. Then 14 through 20 is in hardcover. So six, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five six. I can't count. Seven volumes in there. Yeah. In hardcover. Uh, love this run. Absolutely tremendous. I, I'm a huge fan of Conan. Uh, I have more Conan books, but yeah, they're down in storage. So move on to my favorite, one of my favorite characters, to my absolute favorite character. And you know what that is. This is Mr. Punisher. So here we got an epic collection. Here we got Punisher and the Shadow Masters, which I just finished. This is the only book with the Punisher I haven't read yet, which is The Punisher Invades the Nam. And we got Punisher uh, versus the Marvel Universe, Wolverine versus Punisher, Suicide Run, Eternal War. Then we got the Edmondson Run, the Becky Cloonan Run, uh, P Punisher and Doctor Strange. Oops. And we get into the Max Run. Max, 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 Max. You know, we got the Jason Aaron run. We got Frank and Frankencastle. We got Punisher Born. Punisher Untold. Uh, Untold Tales. Welcome back, Frank. Barbarian with the Gun. Space Punisher. Punisher Nightmare. <laughs> Moving on here. We got more of the Aaron run. Uh, Punisher and Bullseye. Uh, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Punisher. The Greg Rucker run, Enter the War Zone, The Platoon, Current Ongoing, uh, War Zone, or War Machine, Daredevil and Punisher, War Journal Classic, War Zone, River of Blood, uh, Fraction run, two books, Dead End, Universe vs. Punisher, Circle of Blood, Dark Reign, Business as Usual, and Punisher Civil War. And here we go, something. These are the very few single issues I have. I do have about 10 more, I guess, but of course I do have Punisher. I have an Evil Dead. I have Midnight Suns, Punisher, Ghost Rider, and here it is, the Fade Out. This is issue one in a, a magazine style version. And Godzilla, Treasury Edition. Cool book. Got it. It was very cheap. It was like five bucks or whatever. With early trade. And the Frank Miller run on Daredevil. Classic run. I'm talking about that. 
let's get into that. That I have the. Oh, let's move here. I'm sorry, I'm not very smooth here. The Frank Miller Daredevil Run, The Visionaries. Then we got my all time favorite run, The Bendis Malev Run on Daredevil, followed by The Brubaker Run on Daredevil. So we're Born Again, we got Man Without Fear, Typhoid Mary, the Volume 1 of the Mark Wade Paulo Rivera run on Daredevil. And I know I'm going to get a lot of haters and all that, but I did not like it at all. At all. And I tried, I tried reading this book three times. I just couldn't get it. I was, just was not for me. And we got this one. This one with the awesome cover. Lone Stranger. Electra, Electra Assassin. And then we move into some other very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I just, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry. I'm not a gymnast because I'm not very smooth um, at all. So I'm having trouble moving around. There we go. Here we go. Monster of Frankenstein, Sons or Son of Satan classic, uh, Marvel Horror magazine collection. What an awesome book! I would love if they do, did an omnibus of those. Uh, magazine type books. Shield by Starenko Complete Collection. Doom 2099 by uh, Warren Ellis. Machine Man. Man Thing by Steve Gerber. Volumes 1, 2, 1, 2. Tomb of Dracula Visionaries. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I can't wait for the omnibus. Defenders Epic Collection. Sprawls in here. This is the Six Fingered Hand Saga. Sorry. Uh, Spirits of Vengeance, another, and then we have a Doctor Strange omni um, omnibus. What am I saying? Uh, a Doctor Strange epic collection, separate reality. And we got the Fix. This is the Fix Volume Two. <laughs> volume One is now in storage. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, Royal City Volume One. Vampirella, the Essential War and Years. Just amazing artwork in this book. Look at the cover and just just see the artwork. Yeah, I know she's almost nude, but the artwork is stunning in this book. Then we go to a couple of books. I'm, I really want you to see these because these are episodes. I want you all to read these books because they are great. Strange Attractors by Charles Soule. Tremendous book. The Empty Man by Car Colin Bunn and Vanessa R. Del Rey. Michael Garland. The Last Contract. Just a great book. Ed Brison, Lissandro Esteren, and Nico Guardia. And this one, Trigger Man. Mots, Walter Hill, and Jeff. Tremendous count. Just it's really, these four books are really, really, really underrated. They never get talked about. But they're really, really freaking awesome. I really want just everyone to read these books. Moving down. Kill or Be Killed. Southern Bastards. Lazarus. Saga. Briggsland. Black Hammer. And we went to Doctor Strange with... Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torment, one of the awesome miniseries. Jesus, is that great. Uh, Doctor Strange, Don't Pay the Ferryman, What Disturbs You, Steven. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Secret Defenders, Doctor Strange and the Oath. We got the awesome Green Lantern, Green Arrow run. Uh, then we got Longbow Hunters. The New 52, Wonder, Wo Wonder Woman, those are the only two trades I have, actually. Then the current run, and then the current Batman, just volume one. Next to that is the nine Batman Nine Lives. Michael, this is who wrote this? Michael Lark. Dean Motter wrote it. Michael Lark artwork. You know Michael Lark is like Sean Phillips. Great artwork. Okay, then move on to more Batman. Uh, the Long Halloween and Trade. 
Dark Victory, Haunted Night. We got Batman, Tales of the Multiverse, Batman Vampire, Batman and Son, All Star Batman trade. I have the Nightfall in tr these big trades, and not the omnibuses that have come out. Hush, Batman Robin, No Man's Land Volume One, Tales of the Demon, we got Death of the Family, Time of the Batman, Gates of Gotham. Year one, this is Whatever Happened to the Cape Crusader, uh, Gotham by Midnight, The Creeper, or Beware the Creeper, I think it's called that. Beware the Creeper, The Great Usagi Yimbo, Fanographics, entire run, 10 years of uh, Usagi and Fanographics before we moved on to, to Dark Horse, The Complete, The Killer. So happy to have this book. <laughs> So happy, it's, it's, it's such a great free book. Okay, put that back. I'm gonna be smooth again. Okay, moving down here Yusaku Yimbo Saga, volumes one and two, and then Yusaku Yimbo Saga Legends. More Punisher, Punisher Essentials, volumes one, two, three, and four. Doctor Strange Essential, this is volume four. Iron Fist Essential. We got Savage Sword of Conan, volume 20. Then we got to complete Savage Sword of Call, volumes one and two. Men of War, or DC Showcase presents Men of War. Blame, Blame, Blam, Blame, I say, okay, I say Blame, Master Edition, volume one. He Man, and the Masters of the Universe mini comic collection. When you bought the figures, you got a mini comic with it. And this one collects all of them. It's like 900 pages. 47 Ronin. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna have to move. Sorry, sorry. And there we go. 47 Ronin. One of the great, great books I have. Really one of the, probably one of the best books I have. P pure quality. The, see, there's texture to it, the entire book here. This is from Dark Horse, Sensei artwork. And it's about the 47 Ronin, an actual event that took place in Japan years and hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. Absolutely amazing book. It has great history in the back. It tells us about the 47 Ronin. Bark of the Score, Vagabond Volume 1, and Blade of the Immortal Volume 1. Here are my, this is my. 360 collection. This is all stack one, stack two, and behind is stack three and stack four. I'm sorry, you're not even see my foot. That's disgusting. There's some books or uh, DVDs, and I'm going to show you what game I'm playing right now. This is Yakuza Zero, and I also just picked up Yakuza Kiwami. That's what I'm playing right now. So let's get into the final stack here because I'm not going to show you. As I said, I'm not going to show the 200 plus trades I have down in storage. Just not, just not possible. Demon by Jack Kirby. Forever People by Jack Kirby. We got Watchmen, World War Hulk, Planet Hulk, X Men vs. Fantastic Four, and X Men vs. The Avengers. Tarzan on Planet of the Apes. Batman Gotham at the Midnight. Batman Gotham County Line. Then we got Batman Dark Detective. Uh, Sword Quest, Bloodshot Reborn, Mr. X, Wolverine vs. Nick Fury, Time and Vine, Rebels Volume 2, Volume 1 is down in storage, Sandman Mystery Theater Volume 1, Fables, this is Volume 10, this is the one I'm currently reading, so I have about 10, 12 more volumes to go. Jack Kirby 100 Celebration Collection, Black Monday Murders, Suicide Squad in the Silver Age, which is the one I was interested in. I would not read anything else about the Suicide Squad because I personally don't care. Superman and Prisoner of Lex Luthor Collection, we got God Country, which is an amazing move. Crosswind, more Conan, this is Conan the Slayer, Volumes 1 and 2, the final run of Conan, the final two ongoing books they will ever release before it goes back to uh, Marv. G.I. Joe, the IDW Omnibus. Grendel Omnibus. 
some Yusagi, get Punisher, the official index to the Marvel Universe, Punisher Noir, Master Keaton, and kill all monsters. Kill all monsters. Tremendous book. Pick it up. It's originally a webcomic. It was published by DC. Okay, then we go to the final stuff here. Path of the Assassin, Volume 1. Okay, this is a name I'm very bad at. Satsuma Gishiden, Volume 1. Samurai manga. Polar! Came from the cold. Polar! No Mercy for Sister Maria. And Polar! Eye for an Eye. This is by Victor Santos, who also made the Rashomon book. They're going to base a uh, movie on this with Viggo Mortensen coming up next year. It's very stylish artwork. The black, the white, and the red. And that's it for three volumes. Tremendous. And we got a random volume of Deathstroke. Deathstroke the Terminator. This is volume one, actually. Marvel Masterworks. The Savage She-Hulk. This is the first Marvel Masterworks with She-Hulk. First and only so far. And a Masterworks with Fantastic Four. This is volume four. Very random just having a volume four of this. But... So, now you've seen my collection. I've run for 30 minutes. That's long enough. <sighs> Boom, there we go again. Um, hopefully you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do, and please comment if there's anything you like, if you anything you don't like, if there's anything you want me to do or don't want me to do, but please make a comment, please like it. So until next time, I'll see you all.